Hello everyone, so because I was stupid on Friday I forgot to cover Life is Strange stuff but also we will be covering Star Wars Battle of 1 2 once again because I've had some recent leaks but uh, you'll find out what we'll be talking about. Anyway, here's the intro. Okay, so from what I'm guessing by now, Life is Strange Before the Storm will already be released on iMac and also Linux. And also, um, from what I know, um, it's also said that Before the Storm is set to come out on iOS and also Android also, which is amazing. Uh, I love it that they do that. I hope they do the same thing with Life is Strange too. Also, there'll be a Life is Strange comic in the next, um, I'm guessing in the next 50 something days. And there'll also be a Life is Strange book that's coming, which I've only just heard about. And as you know, Life is Strange to September 27th. It's all amazing. Now, unfortunately, there's been no word about the Life is Strange 2 physical copy yet. So, unfortunately, if you want to buy it, it's for like, I don't know, in the UK or America. Unfortunately, it's just digital. I know it's so annoying, but um, I'm hoping they'll release somewhat of an edition afterhand so you can maybe buy it then. But that's probably going to be probably at the end of 2019. Hoping it doesn't go far as like 2020. Now it's Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now this is a mashup of stuff that I'm going to talk about. Um, stuff that I will be talking about in my channel reviews when it comes back. So, leaks got out. I'm sure you heard it. Leaks are not actually leaks. They're just information that just seems to me that could have got made up on the spot. But when it comes to Battlefront 2 YouTubers reporting it, it seems to me that's where the problem extends. And apparently, Battlefront Knights was basically clickbaiting. I don't know what clickbaiting to that because most of the, like the two thumbnails from Battlefront updates and Knight, both of them had Mace Windu do in there. So it's like, are you giving off the impression that it could be in there or not? Like when I try my best to report on leaks and stuff like this. I expect you guys to know that it's basically, it could not be Will, because if you don't know, I don't say take this for a grain of salt, because, I don't know, I have other stuff to do, unlike other Battlefront 2 YouTubers, I have multiple channels and I have to look after them. But, um, look, I'm just saying Battlefront Knight reports on stuff like you do, and it's obvious that other Battlefront 2 YouTubers, mainly the game changers to be honest, do not like, do not like Battlefront Knights. I always thought that these people did not like Star Wars HQ, but then after seeing a video with Battlefront updates and Star Wars HQ back from when Battlefront 2015 was going to come out, it seems to me that they're fine, but we'll come to Battlefront Knights, it seems to me that they do not like each other at all nearly all of them but again there are some parts where I do disagree when it comes to Battlefront Night but again I can I want to defend them on some things because at the moment I just feel like Battlefront Updates is being a fucking idiot he is. Now on one of the leaks I don't really care about the more skin I don't care what's actually going to be coming out what I'm what I was most intrigued about is that apparently the game was supposed to be set to be supported for to 2020. Now, this would only make sense if the Kenobi film was ever going to be a thing and if it, if it was ever going to come out during that time. But I don't know about anything else. Like, it makes sense that um, Disney would request Battlefront 2 to promote Clone Wars Season 7 and it, will, and it will also make sense for Disney to request Battlefront 2 to promote Star Wars Episode 9 because if you don't know those things are coming next year uh, I don't think Resistance will get any of that shit but for it to be supported through 2020 I could see January of a supporting month but as of the rest of the year no I'm predicting that after January of 2020 Start February, it will be gone. It will be. There will be no support and they will move on to whatever they need to do. Um, I'm assuming they will keep some things open for the next couple of years, but I'm sure they said that the game was only going to be supported for the next two years. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. So, I see Battlefront 2 being supported for 20, 
219 because unless the Jedi Fallen Order doesn't come out, they do not have another Battlefront. They knew they basically don't have another Star Wars game on consoles to promote their stuff through it. But um, 2020, I don't see that as any of a possibility. If it does, it will shock everyone. It will. And due to the lack of like devs that they've got on Battlefront 2, I see it being supported for 2019. But as of 2020, no. I'm afraid not. I don't see it. I see Bas like, I see next year for the m for the early months, uh, I guess in January through April. I see content being ported from Battlefront 2015 to be ported over here into Battlefront 2 because it's like first they got backlash about it, and then and then it's like people are all liking it. First of all, I liked it. At the beginning of this, I did not own the season pass of Battlefront 2015. I'm assuming everyone bought it then. And people were up, like frustrated. For me, it was a good way to know and get to know what Best Spend feels like and what Jabba's Palace feels like. All of the like Battlefront 2015 stuff. It was amazing to have it back into this game because that's what mostly we want and even though if we won't get i don't know joy the curse if we won't get this if we won't get that depending on the size as it is as fans we don't need to depend on leaks we could i don't know talk about it we can like we keep requesting it keep saying this keep saying that because maybe one day dice will listen and do as the fans want because this game may not be powered by fans but Surely our opinions do get through it and to be honest you don't have to be a game changer to do it because game changers may know everything but guess what they don't. Anyway thank you guys so much for watching um, more like a bit of a wank stuff it's just I find powerful I find these game changers apart from with the 10s frustrating I do like as for true and Battlefront updates is the two people I find so frustrating that they just they keep creating drama they do anyway peace guys see ya